Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. I got some upgrades in today. We're putting them on. I uh, just got started. Um, I just took off the uh, the intake. It's just one uh, hose clamp on the end and it just pops off for mine. Uh, it's pretty simple. I'm going to go ahead and clean out a lot of this junk and stuff in here too. But uh, yeah, here's my charge pipe, the old one, which I have a new set of charge pipes. I got some upgraded ones. Um, and we're going to be redoing those as well. Um, I'll probably be doing that on a different video, but this one right now we're doing the uh, turbo inlet pipe and the uh, we're using a new blow-off valve. So over here we have the new blow-off valve. This is the Turbo Smart Compact EM blow-off valve, just a direct just plug-in, plug-and-play, nothing else. Uh, there was one on the car already. This one is a, um, a Forge Star. Uh, one, a bluff. I don't like the sound of it. It sounds too wimpy. I don't like that at all. So I'm taking it off. But uh, this one was already plumbed in. You will have a uh, connector. Well, there'll be a T on this hose right here, which will be this uh, this T right here. The, this one will actually be plumbed into this one right here. We we'll go up onto here and this end into here. That's for your uh, the vacuum, but now now it's going back to original, back to stock, right there because this one's just a plug and play one, just electric, so there's no uh, no vacuum hoses needed for it, which is awesome. So I uh, undid that one. Um, underneath, you're going to need uh, right here is your charge pipe and goes right underneath into the back, which I have my the fan on too. So if you hear a uh, noise, don't worry. But if you can see straight down, uh, kind of down in there, you see them moving a little bit. That's where your bolt is for this uh, little assembly, um, like the little control module for the old uh, blow-off valve. So I'm taking that uh, bolt out, and then once I take this bolt out all the way, it is actually on the, uh, the in or not the inlet side, but the, uh, I guess the hot side for, uh, the other thing, I don't want to drop this bolt. Okay, whew. All right, leave that there. So then this can come on off, just like so, and up and out. So we got this whole system. Ugh. Ugh. A little mess. All right, I don't want that no more. But uh, yeah, okay, so that's all off. So we need to do three, uh, three sockets, three, uh, not sockets, but um, the Allen keys, which I believe it is this one still. I think it's a five mil. So I'm gonna leave this one over here. I'll take this back over here and see if that actually is it. Yes, it is it. Okay, so that is correct there. All right, but now this hose right here, I already got it off. Uh, I see a lot of uh, people that complain about this hose that it can't be taken off. So uh, it is, there's a little trick to it on the back side of it, like where my finger is, there's like an indentation between, uh, between it. All you're gonna do is take a, uh, where'd I put that at? I've got a heavy duty, like a, almost like a 90 degree uh, pick, and you're gonna go on the other side of it, and then you're gonna wedge this up into there just a little bit, and then you're just gonna pull this up, twist and pull a little bit, and it'll pop right on up. And that's how I got that off. So now I don't have to fit, I don't have to take apart all this whole harness and everything. And then I have to take off a T30. Let's go on over here. Let's find a T30, guys. A T30, is this a T30? This it is. All right. Got a T30 Torx. Put it on. Doing this all one-handed, guys, sorry. Err. Okay. Got that on, there's going to be a T30, it's going to be right basically underneath this pipe. So I'm going to move that out of the way, right there it is. This one right there. I'm going to go ahead and put this on. We're going to break that loose. Sit that off. We're going to go ahead and take this. Take that out and sit this down. Go ahead and take this out all the way. There we go. There it is. You guys can see that. 
5030. We'll clean this up. Oh, good thing I put that there, guys. I just dropped that. Holy crap. Uh, such a horrible feeling. But then we're going to go ahead and push this up. And that should unlock this pipe. There it is. And we'll just take that on out. Wow, there it is, guys. So here, I'm going to move some of this crap out of the way real quick. I did put new spark plugs in this. So these are the uh, these are the original ones, if you guys were curious. NGK VWAG plugs. They got this little seat on the, on the tops. It's kind of cool. But I went to these. These are the RS7 plugs. 90 or 91006. I need four of those. I went with these instead. These are, I believe, one step colder. Since this car is a stage two, uh, we went ahead and just did that. So it's better. So let's clear this up just a little bit here, guys. And we'll measure these. Look at these things. Oh, heck yeah. Okay. So that's the decent difference. Oh, for sure. Oh, yeah, guys. This is going to be awesome. So you can see. Definitely a difference. Get some good parts in this. APR, guys. This, this car is pretty much a full APR car at this point. That's what. Uh, that's kind of what I'm going with here. I got the APR uh, charge pipes. Uh, got those. So I'm going to go ahead and throw this sucker back on in here. So since we did that, well, that turbo looks pretty good too, guys. Actually, let's put our, uh, our camera down over there once. See if we can see. I'm going to flip you upside down so you can see. It's a little, it's a little baby turbo, but it puts out a good bit of power for that. So let's go ahead and slide this one. Try to see if you guys can see here. Muster up. There we go. All right, hold on a second, guys. I gotta push on this a little bit more. There we go. Oh, wait, oh. nope. Hold on, I'm, I can't see myself. So let's see here. So if this is on like so, then it should just go on in. Oh, it takes a little bit of strength to put that one in, but I think I need to put a little bit of a... Uh, I'm gonna put a little bit of oil on this gasket, or this uh, seal here, real quick. So give me a second. All right, guys. So I went ahead and got that on. I put just a little teensy bit of uh, electrolyte grease on there, just a little dab on that uh, on that O-ring, and that helped push it in real nicely. And then you push it in, you wiggle it in, and then you just it just clocks straight back just to that angle. And now. We can put our we put our uh, bolt back in. Our uh, let's see here, this this one right here. Let me clean that off just a little bit because I want it to look pretty again. That looks better. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn that down a little bit. Here we go. Let's move that out of the way. And then 
We can go ahead, slide that bolt back down in there. Grab my uh, T30 bit. And just go ahead and we'll just snug that up. Just a little bit. There we go. Not very tight, just, just snug it. All right, so that's all back together. And then this, you just push. I can see this. Let's go ahead and push that back down on there. And use my other hand. There we go. You guys hear that pop? And that's, and that's on. All right, so AR, APR pipe is on there. Well, you know what, guys? I just realized that it would have been way easier to have this thing off and take this out, take the blow-off valve out, because those bolts are actually pretty easy to get to. So we're gonna redo that. I can pop this back off, redo this, and I'll come back, and then we'll take this off. All right, guys, so Instead of doing, uh, instead of doing, taking this uh, inlet off, I went ahead, just unscrewed it from that little bracket, and I twisted it, and then it gave me enough room to get the bottom, bottom bolt, and then these two top ones are pretty easy to get. Uh, it's not not big deal, and then pull all this junk out. So here's the the difference between the two. Actually, like pretty decent <laughs> difference between the two. And this thing is just so tiny. And it's got just this whole, whole mess of, of nonsense, which I just don't like. So, yeah, this, this one's pretty simple. And then you use your uh, gasket. Be sure I gotta figure out this thing how to keep this on on this the whole thing here while I put that in. But yeah, it's pretty simple, guys. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and end this off right here because um, the end video I will do, I will have the car running and you'll be able to hear everything. Uh, I'm debating, so I gotta put all this back together quick and after I get all this together, I'll be able to at least start the car and pull it out a little bit and then put it up on ramps because I have to take off the bottom uh, front tray here to get to the one hose clamp or there might be two for the other part of for the charge pipes. And then I'm going to go ahead and put the new charge pipes in, get this thing up and going, and then get you guys uh, a running video, get you uh, some of the noises, the nice noises it's going to make. But yeah, guys, this is the uh, first video. I appreciate everybody, you know, being here with me with this stuff. Uh, thank you for all the subscribes. I really appreciate it. I'm trying to get up to that 1,000 mark. I know I can get there with uh, your guys' help and with this new car. I'm going to do all the mods, take you guys with me, try to be a little more uh, interactive with this. Uh, this this one, this platform is pretty cool, so it's a little bit easier to work with than the AMG. Um, so yeah, that's it for right now, guys. And uh, I'll get some new videos out here really soon. Um, this will be like a part one here. I will do part two for the next stuff, and then we'll get the, uh, the sounds. So thank you again, guys, for everybody watching. Sorry to drag this video out a little too much, but this is it for right now. Thank you for watching. Thanks for subscribing, and I will see you guys on the next one.